Hello friends and welcome to another episode of To The Nexus, my series of, of videos on Heroes of the Storm, Tal here. It's uh, It's been a little while since we've done a video. I've been a little busy with real life and things that I kind of have to focus on, uh, but I decided new hero. I've been super excited for Zul. We're going to go ahead and take a look at him today. Friendly team is going to be me on Zul, Kerrigan, Leeming, ETC, and Raynor against the enemy team of Leoric, Nova, Butcher, Zul, and Zagara. So Zul is a hero I've been anticipating. Uh, he's the new hero after Li Ming to come out. He's a necromancer. He's a, uh, a support who specializes in basically disrupting the enemy team. He has a lot of slowing. Um, he can talent into a poison. He does a little bit of lane pushing because when he kills minions, he's actually going to be able to raise them back up as a sort of minions for himself. He's a very interesting character, and I'm really, really excited that he's finally out here, and I'm happy to play him. I've played about two games of him now. Uh, I won both of them, but that's not saying much because one was getting spots. And as you all know, I kind of mostly lose on all these episodes. So it'll be great. This will be a fun game. Anyways. At level 1, I will go ahead and take a look at all of his abilities, his talents, all that. Uh, but at level 1, I'm going to go ahead... Let's see. Against this fight. I prefer to take more of a disrupting when it comes to him. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go for Slow's enemies. Because of a build that I'm going to be focusing on. Anyways, his trait is Raise Skeleton. When an enemy minion dies around him, it becomes a skeletal, a skeletal warrior. He can have up to four at a time. And it basically generates minions for him in the lane. They don't follow him, they follow the lane. His first ability is Spectral Scythe. It just comes, uh, summons a little scythe in front of him that will come towards him. You can actually go ahead and summon it there and see, it comes back to you. Pretty cool. His second ability is a buff for himself called Curse Strikes. Basically lets his auto attacks for 4 seconds do a bunch of AoE damage and slow attack speed of enemies. Uh, and his third ability is Bone Prison. You click on someone and after about 2 seconds it'll... It, you'll see a little graphic under them, but 2 seconds later they'll be popped up and they'll be in prison for about a second or so. Uh, pretty nice for setting up stuff. And then he actually has an active that is a Bone Shield. For about 3 seconds he shields himself for 25% of his health and he can talent it to either slow, do damage when it explodes, or just evade basic attacks. Sorry, I'm kinda getting caught up there. Oh, I forgot that Leoric has that. Okay, so essentially he's really good at being disruptive. He'll mess with the enemy team. That's what I love about him. Just avoid that Nova damage. Let's get some minions out. That's his curse strike. You can see right there. Oh, Nova, you done goofed. There we go. Jesus Christ, triple kill right off the bat. Oh, no, I messed up. Oh, that was dumb. I could have bone shielded too. Yep, nope, that was my bad. That was me being dumb. As with all these videos, I'm just going to say this again. I'm not actually good at this game. I love this game. I love playing this game. I love making videos of this game. I'm terrible at this game. So, yeah. At level 4, we're going to go ahead. Let's see. I always feel like I don't have enough mana when I'm playing this. But I don't know if taking the mana regen is necessarily a good idea. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the increased range of my Spectral Scythe. Because again, I'm going to be going for a slowing build. I'm going to actually be taking Executioner, possibly. I, I think I'll be taking Executioner. See there, the increased range is actually pretty pretty significant. Really helps out for killing some stuff. And especially because you can throw it out there and then move, kind of angle it around. It, it's a cool reverse skill shot. I like it a lot. Uh, but let's see, let's go down here. The build doesn't really take off until later on, especially once you get Executioner. Until then, it's not as powerful. Oh wow, that's really Nova. I really want to get a pick on this... Nope, I'm just gonna die. Yeah, 
Just gonna die there. Apparently, taking out the guy who, the person who's just killing someone else isn't helping. But I mean, that's how it is in the game. So, yeah. People are fun. People are so much fun. I find that Heroes of the Storm and Overwatch, because of their competitive nature, where it's team on team and everything is so reliant upon having good teammates, I get very angry very easily in the game at times. It's kind of unfortunate, to be honest, but it is what it is. I'm gonna try my best not to try to get ragey or anything, honestly, though. I, I don't really want to try to be that person. Some trading with that Zul. Heading down now. Uh, are we gonna get to it in time? I'm going to be trying. At level 7, I'm gonna go ahead and get the attack speed slow because, again, I really just wanna be very disruptive to the enemy team. See if I can get out of this. Nope, no getting out of that. Again, the enemy team, the friendly team is just not in a good position. Um, they haven't been able to set themselves up in a way that they're going to be able to do uh, effective damage. They're kind of getting picked off at this point, which then I run in and get picked off myself. So it's not helping us. It's definitely not helping us when it comes to XP contribution. It looks like bottom has been being pushed the entire time. ETC is having a hard time. But I mean, when you're a bit of a dick, that's what happens, right? So anyways, moving on. Let's go ahead and soak top lane. So like I was saying, this build, I'm going to be slowing their attack speed, obviously, with my cursed strikes. I'm going to be slowing them down once I take the Frost Mage's uh, Heroic at level 10. Uh, I really just want to mess with the enemy team, make it difficult for them to engage to do things. And if I do pick up Executioner, it's going to be doing extra damage once they're all being slowed and all that jazz. Do some damage and move out. Let's try to get grouped up with our team this time because I'd really like to not lose another fight here at these curses. It's just me and Jim though, so it's not it's not looking great. I'm just gonna die. Yep. I don't know where our, our team is, but me and Jimmy basically had that down, and our team just took way too long to show up. Which uh, is unfortunate. I believe Jim. Nope. Jim's gonna be fine, thankfully. I really hope that friendly team can go ahead and pick this up. I don't want to get cursed already, but who knows? Ah, uh, Leoric is getting a pick off there. Nope. They're all dead. Yep, so that's that. It's unfortunate, but, you know, it is what it is. They did pick up Poison Nova, which is why they were able to do all that damage. Skeletal Mages again. So anyways, um, I haven't been able to make a video in a while, nothing's gone on to the channel really. Um, I need to still finish up my Overwatch guides as well as make a couple of more episodes for uh, for Heroes of the Storm. I've just been having a little bit of an issue, being that I am new to this, um, kind of figuring out a good balance where I have the time to record and also still keep up with my normal day to day life. And truth of the matter is, as much as I do love doing this, I am I, I want to do this a lot more often and maybe even do make it a full time thing. But at the moment, of course, I have to, you know, have a normal job. I still have to make sure that I'm making money in one way or another so I don't, like, die. That, that's just not good. 
But anyways, we were able to get a lot of kills there. Um, a well placed round of skeletal mages, if I may say so myself, was able to do a lot of work in making sure that we locked him down. It enabled ETC to go in there. I believe he mosh pit, and that's where we got so many of the kills. But unfortunately, we did lose top. We're probably gonna lose bottom here. Let's try to do some AOE damage, just get this cleared out. One thing he does excel at is clearing a group of enemies. Um, Merking by himself is interesting though, because since he doesn't get minions normally, like he has to actually kill something to get minions, going in and doing mercs is not actually the easiest thing in the world. Damage here from my skeletal minions. Let's see, get out of this. Oh, we're just gonna die here. Oh my god, are we gonna die? Oh, oh. Okay. Jim is a goddamn hero. I'm just gonna say that right now. Jim saved our life. That's that's just that's exactly what happened there. Jim saved our life. Alright, so the ne this next level we're going to go ahead and take, um, I want to slow. Again, this that's the whole point of our build. This build is about slowing the enemy, causing a bunch of problems for them. That's what I want to focus on, that's what we're going to be focusing on. Just making sure we get that cleared up. I don't want to extend too much. I don't want to die to Nova and Butcher. They already have a very strong diving comp as it is. Um, and see there, there's the enemy team. Anyways, as far as Zul goes, I really like him as a hero. I don't know if he's overpowered or needs buffs or anything yet. I think it was pretty obvious to everyone when Lee Min came out just how powerful she was. I think Zul is going to take a little bit more time. Um, but I, his Skeletal Mages just seem so incredibly powerful in my opinion. The fact that they do damage and slow, they don't stop anything, but they do they do disrupt. And again, that disruption is powerful. Our ATC needs to go in. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Our Lee Ming's gonna get a pick off there. Out of the way here. Oh, we mi everyone missed their abilities. Oh, of course, of course. I knew it was coming. I was trying to get away, but yep, I knew that was coming. See, I feel like it's easy to blame the new person, or not the new person, but the person playing a brand new hero, more than anything else. I don't know. People are people are idiots in this game, honestly. But it's fine. It is what it is. I mean, I have five deaths, which isn't great, but our Kerrigan has four. Uh, we don't have a support, sadly. And we are able to get a lot of kills on the Butcher, though. We have six kills on him right now, which is pretty good. The choice is simple. Let's kind of make our way over to the Tribute. See what we can do there. There's our frost mages doing some work. Let's back up a little bit. And now we're going to go ahead and take our executioner. As soon as we run away from Nova because we don't want to die. Alright, so we're going to take executioner now. Let's see if we can see Nova. Ah, I don't. Not able to kill her, unfortunately. Um, we did get close. I think we're going to get a pick off here on Zul. And there goes Nova doing her Nova things. Jimmy thankfully had his health back. And Nova's dead. Perfect. Now, that's exactly what I was trying to do. I was trying to set it up so that our, our team could get the kills. Unfortunately, I didn't ping it. I should have pinged it. So that then they would have ran in and done it. Um, thankfully, they were able to go ahead and clean it up for me after I went in and died. 
So that's good. Unfortunately, we still don't have any sort of structure damage. You know, we've died. Mul I've died multiple times now. We need to get some structure damage, though. We need to get this moving forward in our in our favor because at the moment we don't have structures as many structures as they do, and we're on equal footings as far as XP. So all it's gonna take is one bad team fight for us to lose. We've gotten lucky so far that we keep winning these fights, but it's not going to last. So let's go over our Li Ming. Let's go ahead and support her. Let's see what happens here. I have a feeling if we just run in, we're going to die, but we kind of have to do something here. Got to slow there on the Nova. The journey. I'm gonna die again. Oh, no, we got away. Thank God. Let's go ahead and back out because we don't want to give the team another kill to go with that. And yeah, there we go. We were luckily. Are we gonna get this? Please tell me we're gonna get this. Okay, okay, we're good. Alright, perfect. So let's see what we can do. Let's go ahead and get top lane moving in the right direction. Thankfully, we were able to get that. Next curse, if we win it again, then we can finally. The next tribute will finally have a curse. Uh, ETC is not in a good position, though. He might get killed here. Let me get this cleared out. I love the effect. That uh, little green black effect of uh, his scythe going. It's a lot, of, a lot of really cool effects that they've been having at the heroes recently. I hope they keep up the quality. It's been a very fun game. It's not as big as Dota and those other uh, MOBAs at the moment, but it, it's just such a fun game, and I really, really want them to keep supporting and keep adding things to it. Uh, I'm sure by now, if at least with the amount of things I bought, that they, they're making enough money to keep this going for a while. I really do love Heroes of the Storm. I don't find it to be as complicated as other MOBAs. I, I Sometimes I take a look at what it is to play like Dota, and it's just ugh, it's mind-numbing. Wasn't able to get her. Really want to try to get a Nova pick off, but I don't know if we can. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna go with the team. Alright, so anyways, at level 20, sorry, I was trying to make sure I wasn't choosing the wrong thing there. We're going to go ahead and take Raised Mage. Again, I really like this uh, this whole disruptive playstyle, and if we get a pick off on an enemy hero, or when we do kill them, we're going to be getting those amazing mages to just pop up and do some helpful stuff with us. Let's get some skeletal minions up, go ahead and push this down. Alright, so the enemy team is up. We gotta be careful. Oh, they need to back off. They need to back off badly. We really need to get the hell out of here. Let's guard our Li Ming away. Our ETC needs to watch out. Nobody's still in the area. That's what I'm trying to get him to understand. I really wish he wasn't so gung-ho about this. We're able to get the slow on Nova. We're gonna go ahead and run in here. No, she's dead. We don't have to worry about her. Whew. Okay. 
I'm a little stressed out when I'm playing New Heroes because people like ATC, you know, the assholes of the internet, I want to make sure I'm not giving him any reason to call me out on anything that he could possibly think of. Uh, he's kind of a bit of a bitch. To not die all the time. So I'm trying. Oh, uh, let's see here. 15 seconds is how long the mages last. Which is really nice. Plus when heroes die, it spawn. Uh, looks like the game is freezing. It's attempting to reconnect us. Oh, please servers, don't have just dropped. Anyways, what I was telling, what I was, uh, I think it was our Jim Rayner who was asking. Um, the mages last 15 seconds. And I took the level 20 of talent that when an enemy hero dies, it's going to raise a mage up for them as well. So you could potentially have a bunch of mages out just doing a lot of frost damage, uh, a lot of slowing. Slowing is the big part, especially with execution. The basic attack is going to do much damage. Now, that being said, of course, the basic attack of Zola is probably not that great. But, you know, who knows? I think it's a great build. Um, I like to mess with the enemy team. That's why I took all these slows, the attack speed reduction, all that kind of stuff. I'm not a person as Zul, when I'm playing Zul, I'm not the person that's going to be getting all the kills. I'm not an Illidan or, or a, um, what's it called, a Kerrigan, a Butcher, anything like that. No. I want to set my team up to have the, I guess I want to say, stat-wise, the advantage. Because they're going to have their attack speed reduced. They're going to have their movement speed reduced. They can't escape. They can't really fight back with attacks. Um, they can only cast spells. They have to hope that they're winning the team fights. And right now our ETC for all that he has been a dick is making amazing mosh pits that are really making sure that we get a lot of uh, a lot of damage in. As well, when he mosh pits, we can use our cursed blade to just you know AOE the entire team. It's pretty cool. Uh, that being said, I am worried about this game right now being that we're still attempting to reconnect. Uh, I think what I'll do is, we already played most of the game, what I'll probably end up doing is I'll give it maybe three or five minutes, if it's still trying to reconnect in that time, I'll probably just end the video right there, just because I don't want to have uh, a video where there's like 40 minutes of me trying to reconnect. I'm not sure what is going on, I'm looking at my internet right now and internet is just fine, it's on. So I have no idea what's going on. That being said, it is a Tuesday. It's a new patch. It's a new hero. There's probably server issues. In fact, they had server issues the entire morning when it was updating. So who knows? Uh, but yeah, I mean, I guess I could talk a little bit more about my plans for this series as far as it goes. Um, I feel like my WoW coverage is going to be what I'm more serious than anything else about. I'm going to be doing a lot of just really analytical and a lot of hard work and testing when it comes to WoW. So when it comes to Overwatch and Heroes of the Storm, I think what I'll do is once a day I'll release either a Heroes or an Overwatch video. Just kind of interweave them in between things. And you'll probably see a lot of those videos versus the big videos when it comes to WoW because it, does, it takes a little more time to do the WoW stuff. It takes a little more effort. It's not going to be every single day there's a WoW video. I, I, I'm not going to manage that personally just knowing me. Um, and it'll just be for fun. It'll be me just having a lot of fun playing games that I like. Uh, hopefully the comments... I, I didn't talk as much during this game. I admit that. It's not the best. I'm kind of getting used to this whole talking and saying my thoughts as I'm playing. Sometimes I try to focus and I'm just like, I must concentrate and not die. I don't want to be that type of person. I want to be enjoyable. I want to be entertaining. I know there's like three people that watch these anyway. So those three people, I want you guys to have a fun time. Uh, let's see what's going on with this, though, because this has been kind of crazy. Yep, not sure. But anyways, I mean, th that's what I'm planning to do as far as these games go. Um, just Overwatch and Heroes of the Storm, I just want to be having fun. That's all I want to do. I just want to have fun. While WoW is what I'm going to be focusing on and being super serious about. Um... Those videos. I'm basically just waiting on Brewmaster to be released in the alpha. I'll do a nice big write-up on Brewmaster, and then I'll be going in and doing in 
in-depth like second looks on all the specs and kind of give my thoughts on that the way that they're moving what i think is going to be useful or not useful when it comes to actually tanking raids going into legion mind you i don't i've done some of the raid testing on legion but i haven't um like i don't know what the fight's going to be like so i can't tell you what tank's going to be the best right off the bat uh but it's it's going to be stuff i'm going to take a look at and let's see are we are we good to go is the server i don't think the server is down because things are happening I think my internet is just having a problem. To stop me. Welcome back, hero. All right, so in the time I've been gone, we have lost all of our forts and we're taking core damage. How the hell did all of this happen? Jesus Christ. Okay, I guess we're just gonna lose. That is unfortunate. So, I got disconnected and we lost the game because of that when we were winning. That, um, that is upsetting. That's really, really upsetting. We were winning that game. It was ours to lose and we did lose it specifically because of that. That is, uh,. It's not a lot of fun. And I don't actually think... Yeah, I don't get any XP for that. So... That's nice. I love not getting XP for games I've worked hard at the entire time. Well, anyways, that has been my first kind of look at Zul, how he plays. I'll probably do a couple more episodes on him because I love this hero. And I feel like I got robbed of my victory here. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, again, I'm going to try to increase the pace of these of these videos. Um, this isn't my full-time thing. I would like it to be. Um, but, I mean, I, I'm kind of in financial dire straits all the time anyway, so I kind of have to work. But, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and um, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.